Hey, thanks for clicking on this video. Let's go mining. You know, in Alaska, portability matters. That's why all of our machines are made to go anywhere your feet can take you. Hey, how's it going? Uh, this is Sid with Riverdance Gold Mining. I am out mining out on a creek. Just to prove it could be done, I took my Pioneer Peak Max, which weighs 27 pounds, threw it on a pack board with the rest of my gear, and I hiked in a little less than a mile off the highway at Purinton Creek, following moose trails and just following the creek upstream. And I found a good little spot. I ran 10 full buckets. I didn't classify any of the materials, so I had some really big rocks, four or five inches sometimes that I had to pick out of there, but most of the material ran right through just fine without any help. I only had two buckets. I put one on the pump to create a sump in the creek and keep some of the debris out. The other bucket was my feed bucket. I just filled it up and fed the material through the machine and repeated the process. I left the machine going the whole time and from startup to shutdown was about three hours. To power the machine, I used a five amp hour lithium power tool battery from Milwaukee. And after three hours, it still had half a charge. So that was a big win. And to power the pump, I used a separate battery. I used my 20 amp hour X2 power lithium battery. That sucker is a workhorse and it still had plenty of charge when I was done. On this outing, I'm using the two stage Pioneer Peak Max. So I have a 1500 gallon per hour, 12 volt submersible pump, which works very well. On this trip, I used BB gun ammo for jig shot. It's about an eighth of an inch, much smaller than the one quarter inch steel shot that I provide. And it worked very well. So thanks Charlie from Path of the Bee for the suggestion. Not only did the BB gun ammo perform very well, but it's also resistant to rust due to the zinc coating that it comes with. I like that. For shutdown and clean out, I like to take a top down approach. So let the machine run for a few minutes and then turn the water off. The motor should still be running. The idea is, as the water's draining out, to get any material that's trapped inside the hutches down to the next stage or into the collection bucket below. Keep in mind that the water from the first stage is draining down into the second stage, so they're not gonna empty out at the same time. That second stage is gonna take a little bit longer. Once it's done draining, go ahead, turn the motor off and take that first tray off. Now take some water and splash or spray it inside those hutches to wash any remaining concentrates down into the second stage. Once you're done with that, you can take the second stage screen off and repeat the process, washing any remaining concentrates from inside the second stage hutch down into your final concentrates collection bucket. Now those trays. I like to take the top tray and dump it into a gold pan or a separate bucket and look at it before I rinse it off because if you have any big gold flakes or big gold chunks, they're gonna probably be stuck to that screen or resting on top of the material that you just upended out of it. And if you can pluck those out at that point, you save yourself a little bit of work in the clean out. If you use quarter inch steel shot, use a quarter inch screen to screen that shot and any large rocks out of your concentrates. Or if you used BB gun ammo as shot, you can use an eighth inch screen to do the same thing. That should leave you about half a pan of oversized concentrates, no matter how many buckets you just put through the machine. In a separate pan or container, do the same thing with your mid-size fraction in your second stage screen. And those super fine concentrates down in that bottom collection bucket are the easiest because there is no jig shot. There should be no rocks. You don't have to screen it. It's ready to pan. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching my video. Please like, subscribe, and comment if you have any questions. Thanks. See you next time.